Hey guys, what's going on? What's the deal? What's flying? What's happening? It's your another great, exciting, interesting segment of Sam Water Online TV. All right, how's everybody doing today? How's everybody going? Hello, how's it going? Hey, oh, hey, how are you doing? Well, look at that. <laughs> all right, it's good to see you all today. Awesome. <laughs> there you go, another wave there. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, let's uh get started with uh today's task, okay. All right, so we have a very important talk to talk about, but uh, before we get started, uh, this is Sam One Online. He has to say his two cents, so yeah, let's give him a chance to say it, okay? Sam, are you there? Hi, my name is Sam One Online from uh, Sam One Online TV. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry I haven't been online lately. Um, I know uh, we've all been real busy. I've been personally busy on the studio doing some uh, tracks for uh, other YouTubers and helping out in the community. But uh, I would like to stop for a moment on what I'm doing right now and talk about a... I would like to talk about the vaccine or the COVID vaccine from Pfizer and Biotech. Very controversial drug that's being out on the market right now. Uh, the government's already spent billions upon billions of dollars, uh, you know, in order for them, for Pfizer, to already make it and distribute it, you know, to the world. But what I'm trying to get at is my own personal plea to say, before you take this shot, please, please, be very careful. Okay? Um... I would literally research it or I would even hold off on it because I know that there are many side effects, you know, that are probably involved into it. I'm sure it will lower your immune system in some way. Um, but what I'm trying to get at is please research everything. I try to get the ingredients. Um, however, on Twitter, I was unable to um, get the formula for that. I'm sorry about that. But mainly it was just, you know, because I know that some drug companies are very secretive of their ingredients. But I wanted to know just the basics of what could, you know, be considered as an allergic reaction. But more or less, I wanted to say that please be careful and please research it before you shoot, you take a shot of that. Um... Because I care about my fans, I want to make sure that everyone is um, doing okay. And uh, yeah, with that being said, um, I'm sure me and I'm sure a lot of people are against it. There are a lot of people that are for it, and I'm okay with your opinions as well. But I just want to say that you are, <laughs> your life is very valuable, okay? And we know that. Everybody's going through a lot, but remember to focus on one thing. Do you really trust that this drug will help you? Or will it hurt you the most? Remember, always know that anything can happen. With that being said, this is uh, Sam One Online. Thanks for listening. And I'm going to turn it over to Yuri because she has a lot of detailed information on it. And um, yeah, let's listen to her and please listen through the whole video until it's finished. That way you can make a conscientious decision. So remember, okay, research before you inject something into your body. Your body's your temple and it should be respected that way. Thank you. Okay, there it is. All right. Now, if you're wondering what this topic is, uh, well, um, we're not going to beat around the bush. <laughs> The topic today is on COVID-19, all right, uh, from Pfizer and Biotech. All right, let's change the background real quick. Okay, the coronavirus, it's still out there in the world and it's still affecting us today. All right, now a global, this all happened in one day, okay, a big monumental event is happening right now. Okay, thousands upon thousands of drugs are being shipped right now as we speak to other states and on record breaking speed. All right, and uh, yeah, this is monumental because this has never happened to a drug company before, you know, for something as this is huge and uh, unexpected. All right, now um, let's get started on key tasks and we'll do the best we can to address all the information and uh, I also want to put my two cents on it. 
Okay, but I will be blunt. I will not sugarcoat this. I'm not going to say anything, but uh, I'm allowed to give my opinion, you know, because you are, are my fans and I care about you. So can we put a, I love you, thank you. And I really mean that. So now, what is up for today's topic? Let's start this again, COVID-19. Okay, Pfizer and Biotech right now are releasing their drugs you know, the vaccine right now to the world. All right. And uh, the FDA just approved uh, yesterday that um, the drug is safe to use. However, I have a lot of questions about it. Now, we went on Twitter to ask questions about, you know, uh, how safe is this drug and what are the ingredients? And we didn't get any of the information available or possible. <laughs> but uh, we did try to get as much information as we can. Keep in mind, um, from the testing that was done over in the UK, there were some allergies that were contributed that were very fatal and almost lethal. It's very scary stuff. Okay. Now, um, honestly, I do have an opinion, and I want to address that very soon. But uh, let's get started with the FDA. Okay. First off, uh, let's see if we can change the background. Okay. COVID-19 vaccines. Okay. Um, are these safe for you? Will you trust your life on this? Keep in mind, my last topic that we talked about is this is an experimental drug for mild to moderate cases. Keep in mind, you still have to wear your mask even if you take this. Mild to moderate cases, experimental, okay? And I still stand by that even today. And also, I wanna go as far as to say that I do not trust this drug at all. You know, I'm gonna throw my opinion out there. I mean, I feel that this was Poorly rushed, poorly shipped, and keep in mind, these have to be in extremely cold temperature. So what happens if there's a fracture or something happens in the freight while they're shipping this and some of the CO2 or some of the uh, coldness comes out of the container? Okay, does that mean that they're contaminated? So remember, they have to be kept at a very extremely cold temperature. And um, yeah, anything can happen. So contamination could be easily put on there, on a table, you know, as in terms of when these are shipped from point A to point B. So that's something you have to really think about. Now, the FDA, Food and Drug Administration, approved of this drug, but uh, some of them that were on the seats, they didn't approve of it. You know, it was kind of like a, you know, like a real battle, you know, going on between yes and no, you know. I guess there's a panel of judges that do, does this. I have no idea, but I will say this. Uh, from 2012 to 2018, the FDA approved um, about 8,000 drugs, and um, those 8,000 drugs had to be recalled because they were almost severe or fatal. So this was approved by the FDA, and now these drugs are like very dangerous, you know, and uh, they had to recall them. So nobody took personal responsibility. I feel like this is a monopoly, you know. You can Google the stuff, you know. You don't have to really uh, take my word for it. But uh, FDA has approved things that um, eventually could hurt us over time. So it's really hard to trust a company like that when, you know, something could happen in the near future. Or we don't have significant data to make, you know, an assumption decision that this could hurt you or not. But I will not trust the FDA on this one. I will not put a multi-billion dollar company to approve something and uh, that could hurt somebody five years from now, three years from now or even a year from now. We don't want to take that risk, okay? So, I, not only just the side effects that lowers your immune system, also, they're even talking about your jobs, that some people have to take this in order to keep their jobs. I mean, people are suffering enough right now. They don't need to have this vaccinated in the job site in order for you to do your job, okay? This should be an option, not a forced liability, okay? That's a death sentence. That's saying you have to take this or you don't work. That's crazy. And um, I'm allowed to say that, you know. And uh, I get at is you shouldn't do this, okay? All right? This is a very scary thing. Now, remember what I told you before, okay? If you can have two dice and put six and six and put them down the table, that's 100%. But... If it's 90%, 80%, you're rolling the dice, okay? And the dice is not always going to be the same, okay? It's always going to be a different number. It's never going to be 6-6, six, six, okay? You're more likely 
less likely to get hurt in a car accident than to take this. So what I'm trying to get at is please do your research on this. This is very important. But remember, your life is the most valuable thing in the world. Okay? If you're wondering if something happens to you five years from now because you took this, you know, and you didn't know any better. We didn't know the side effects back then. We didn't know what this can do, you know. And, um, you know, we don't want anybody to be in an early grade. Now, I don't want to scare anybody. I don't want to say nothing that could, you know, rep um, be disrespectful for the San Juan Online team and the San Juan Online community. I don't want to be very disrespectful. But I feel like you should at least give me a chance to speak my mind, you know. You should at least give me that chance, okay. This is my opinion. This is this seems to be like a very dangerous drug that should not be used. You know, more research needs to be done, okay? There shouldn't be a bribe involved into it. There shouldn't be somebody say, Oh, we'll approve this if you give us this much money. Okay, no. Okay. Our lives are worth more than that. So I say that you really, like I said, should research this. And be very careful. Your family is important. You're important. You're important to our community. And I feel that, you know, anything can go wrong if you do take this. Now, remember, um, there's not a lot of vials to go around, so that's a good thing. Okay? But if you do decide to take this vaccination, please research it. Please look at all the things that has happened, you know, when approving a drug, you know. And has there in any chance that the FDA approved something and got it wrong? Just ask yourself that. It's a good question, right? You can Google it right now. Google that right now. And then you tell me that you, if your opinion has not changed already. Okay? I want to give everybody a chance. Okay? So remember, do the right thing. Okay? I love you all. I really do. And I want you all to be as safe and healthy as you can. Now, if you wonder how to do that, just boost your immune system. Okay? There's various different things that you can use, and if you want, we can discuss that in the studio about certain things that you can take, right, to boost your immune system for now, okay? That's the best thing that you can do for yourself, and continue to wear a mask, okay? But mostly, you know, because of the cold season, boosting your immune system is number one, okay? So, yeah, with that being said, please, take care of yourself. Your body is your temple. Don't destroy it, okay? And with that being said, with that being all said, I just want to say to everyone, thanks again for watching. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening and not criticizing the stuff I had to say. I researched a lot and I'm very scared about this drug. I'm scared that for the long run something could happen and I didn't get a chance to voice my opinion. And right now I'm making a stand. I'm voicing my opinion. I'm just, I'm just a digital. But so what? I care about y'all. I want to make sure that everyone is okay. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening to what I had to say. Thank you guys so much. And I really do appreciate it. Y'all have a good one, okay? Bye. 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 Bye.